In this video, we're going to learn to use the Auto Border tool, which is found here on the Design Toolbar. And of course, it's gray right now because I'll need to first create and have something selected to be able to use this. So why don't we just use our Ellipse tool and create a few different sort of ellipse shapes. And when I'm done and I've created those shapes, I'm going to use my Rectangle Selection tool to select all three of them. And so now the auto border tool has become available. And if I turn that on, we get an options box and it has different settings. So right now it's set to create four new shapes, five millimeters apart to the outside. And you can choose to the inside or to the outside and you can choose the number of repeats. So why don't we even just do one new shape? five millimeters to the outside of these things and then what type of sh you know do you want a satin serial or a run line or do you want to do a paint zigzag paint line a cut shape or a stencil shape so the idea is the type and we just leave it set for a running line to the outside five millimeters and say okay it will create a single you know run line five millimeters around the collective shape because I had selected you know all three of those ovals together and so if I only had two of them selected and I ran auto border it would ignore the third one because it's not really part of that group so notice now if I run auto border and I have it five millimeters to the outside and say okay or even if I change it to the inside five millimeters to the inside I'll do the same kind of function okay and so now you can see that it's created a new shape and it's five millimeters to the inside, but it didn't go around the third oval because it wasn't selected. It was, I had just selected the two of them. So that's the auto border tool. Now, why don't we look at using it to create sort of multiples? So again, I'll just select all of the shapes and then run auto border. And instead of running one repeat, I'll have it run, you know, four or five or 10, whatever. Here's eight repeats and they're each going to be five millimeters to the outside. And I'll say, okay. And so you'll see now what it does is it just keeps going round and round and round and round at five millimeters apart and creates multiple shapes. And each one of the shapes that have been created are an individual shape that you could select it and choose the style of embroidery, you know, for that particular row. So because I have all my techniques turned on, I have all of the styles of embroidery available to me and, and crystals and cutwork and stencils and all the rest of it. So that's the auto border tool and how you can use it to quickly create outlines around your shapes.